Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve FPVs and today let's keep it short, let's keep it quick so you can be outside flying and have fun. I know you'd rather be outside flying your drone than watching my ugly face. <laughs> So today let's talk about the DJI FPV and its K refresh program. So when I bought when I bought my DJI, I was new at FPV. I was I was anxious but I was determined to learn. So I went for the DJI FPV. It was a great beginner drone, it has a lot of safety features, great batteries, great controller, great video quality. It's just a very good drone for all beginners. But as you get more confident, you push your drone a bit harder, you fly faster, you get closer to the ground, you're starting to flip and flop and roll. You know, you want to do like those guys on YouTube, you know, you want to be like them. So you push, you push and you push. Unfortunately, this drone is not meant for this. It is not a freestyle drone. It is fast, it is agile, but it is not for flip and flop and roll and dive. This drone is more for like cinematic shots if you want to create your stock videos if you want to work for clients but it is not for like what you see on youtube getting going through the through gaps tiny holes like getting close to the ground and doing some crazy tricks it is not meant for it and that's because of one thing it's because it's bulk quality is cheap this has cheap arms made of plastic so as soon as you crash it will break and unfortunately, DJI has great engineers and it is not easy to repair on your own without experience. You can do it, but it is a little bit tricky. There are a lot of parts to get inside, lots of screws, lots of uh, digging and it is a great engineer product. It is not like you're like do-it-yourself DIY quadcopter that somebody can put together. This is more complicated and it is not for beginner. So I decided to uh, sign up for the Care Refresh program and that cost me about 200, I don't know, 240, 250 dollars, I don't exactly remember. I will look it up and post it. I crashed my drone and I used the first replacement unit, the first replacement for 269 dollars. So I'm, I was already in for like uh, over 500 bucks. Two weeks ago I crashed again, but this time I didn't want to pay the 200 $79 for the second replacement so I looked up online how to fix it and all the other solutions I didn't have the tools to fix it so I decided to send it for repair at my own cost because apparently after looking at the after watching some YouTube video it is cheaper to fix it yourself at your own cost so I wanted to see it for myself so I shipped it and this cost me about $80 DJI received it, looked at it, and sent me an invoice for 83 US dollars. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's because they like me or if I'm a good customer or if it's because I spent thousands of dollars with DJI, but they decided to discount that repair and give me an 83 dollar discount. So all it costed me was the shipping to DJI about 80 bucks. Even if I had to pay my own repair, 80 plus 80 US, that would be about 200, $200 total. That is still cheaper than the $279 that DJI is asking for the second replacement. Now let's talk about this unit which I just received. This is not a repaired unit because it was too quick from the moment they receive it to the moment they send it. It was less than 24 hours. I do believe this is a brand new unit or refurbished unit. It has all the stickers like a brand new unit, it was packaged like a brand new unit. The gimbal has a sticker, the camera has a sticker. I haven't gone out and flown it yet, so I don't know if it flies like a brand new unit. If you're thinking about the DJI FPV, do not sign up for the DJI Care Refresh program. It is not worth it. You're better off paying for your own repair. It is cheaper and it's just as fast. So guys, that was my video for today. If you liked it, give me the thumbs up. And if you love it, please subscribe. It will help the channel and I wish you a great flying, happy flying, have fun, do whatever you do, crash, rail, flip.